Mexico bound. We're on the flight from British Columbia, Canada, to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Still got to wear masks on the plane, of course, but it's all good. Away we go, first trip in two years, Ronda. And it's our big birthdays, both of us. Yeah, we're not telling you how much. So I'm stood outside the Hilton Puerto Vallarta Resort. It's four years since I stood here last time, since me and Rhonda came on vacation here. And we had a great time in 2018 when we came. We posted a full review of the Hilton Hacienda as well as the Hilton Hotel. And we've had tens of thousands of views on that video. We've received hundreds of questions from viewers asking about the stay and we've sent a lot of people this way for a vacation but in the last year or so we've noticed some negative reviews coming online so we thought we'll come back because we always said we'll come back to this hotel so in 2022 we're back and we're going to do a full review again and we're going to see what's changed we're not affiliated with the hotel at all uh, they do know we're here doing a, a video over the next week or so and come with us join us and let's see what it's like some beautiful sand not sculpture but they make a pattern in this every day and it looks so cool it's a king Hacienda Junior Swim Out Suite. Similar to the one we had last time. It's a very similar bathroom. Same layout bathroom. The bathrooms have not been renovated, but they're only, what, four years old? Same with most of the Junior Suites, whether they're swim out or not. There's a nice deep tub and a walk-in shower. But the rooms are not showing any signs of wear. They still look really nice. Nice king size bed. Big, that's gotta be a 47 inch big screen TV, mini bar. There's a nice coffee machine in the room with a daily selection of teas and coffees. It's well equipped with plugins for electronics. At each side of the bed, you've got two outlets and a USB. The air conditioning is a central air conditioning system blown out of those vents. And then you have your own control for the room right here. It's your own little plunge pool out there, which is nice. And then the other side of those palms is the Hacienda adults only pool. You can just see through there. That's the adults only pool. And that's Glenn and Rhonda only pool. Here's a quick video how to get from the Hacienda adults only side across to the Hilton. So here's the main pool. The towel guy. And you take a right at the side of the indoor covered pool there, the square pool, and head straight up these stairs. This will work off some of those calories that we all get when we stay all inclusive. And the building in front is the Hilton building. As you come into the area, we head to the left and right, and down these stairs, you're at the Hilton. So tonight we're going to dine at the Italian restaurant. To get to the Italian, you come through the Hilton, go past the main sea fire buffet towards the beach.
There's the main Hilton pool. Head towards the beach. And the Italian restaurant is outdoors. At the end of the Seafire Buffet, this is the Italian. So it's not very busy. The, the hotel is busy, but the restaurant at a six o'clock sitting is not busy. Most people like to eat later. So we just start in here with some focaccia bread and oil and vinegar and some wines. The first course is here. This is calamari. And over the oil and vinegar, Ron has got a portobello mushroom. And as we watch the sun get lower, the next course comes and it is minestrone soup. Rhonda has a, what is it Rhonda? Shrimp fettuccine with asparagus and mushrooms. And I have a pork loin with rosemary potatoes. And here's the final course. It's an Italian cannoli. So what do we think of the Italian restaurant? This is our first speciality restaurant of our stay. The location, brilliant. Right on the ocean front, nice breeze. It's hot today, but with the breeze, it was cool, side of the table. You can't beat the view, absolutely. 10 out of 10 for the location. But the food left something to be desired. Overall, service is great. Location's awesome. The food, come and have a meal here, but don't expect it to be beautiful, hot, fine dining food. Six out of 10 overall experience because of the food. I just came to have so on a Thursday night at the Hilton and the Hacienda, the buffet, the Seafire buffet is closed and it's a Mexican buffet night, which is set out on the beach. You see all the tables here with people set out. It's a help yourself buffet. The speciality restaurants are still open. There's one of the main Hilton accommodation buildings above the main pool. Up top there, where you can see the two people, is the O West Sushi Bar above the main pools. And then that's the main reception over there and the main Hilton building. And as you come around, there's the Seafire Buffet. Closed tonight because it's Thursday and there's a Mexican night buffet on the beach, which is a great idea. Especially when you can sit and eat and watch the sunset like that. How beautiful is it? This is the reception area, early evening. Here's the lobby bar which is always a good central place to get a drink if you want to indulge in a drink. And then the main lobby area. So there's the lobby bar. Here's the main lobby. Here's a reception at the Hilton. And let's have a walk and show you how easy it is and how close the Hacienda is. You can use the little footbridge to go which is the shortcut or you can come this way just walk through reception and you'll see how close the hacienda is so that road there if you walk all the way down that road you'll end up at the marina the marina is quite close but here we go we come out of the entrance from the hilton and there's the hacienda entrance so that's how close it is. This is a beautiful rooftop bar at the Hacienda. It's located directly above the Mexican restaurant. It's only open from 6 p.m. in the evening until midnight, but it's rooftop. Some beautiful couches, you can sit on chairs. You can even lay on a four-poster bed. 
and here's the view from the rooftop bar out towards the ocean and the sunset So we're just going to eat at the Mediterranean restaurant and to get to the Mediterranean you come to the Hacienda side, there's the adult pool and it's actually the restaurant right there beside the pool, that's the Mediterranean and here's the menu, raised octopus sounds good. Nice fresh baked warm bread. So here's the appetizer. This is roast broccoli with quail egg. And here's the soup course. This is a seafood Mediterranean soup. Cream of asparagus soup. The main course is here. This is lamb. Mediterranean lamb, and this is mahi mahi. So it's Spanish night in the Seafire Buffet. So we'll have a quick walk around and I'll show you what you can get. Station. Here's an example of what you can expect to see a couple of times during the week for entertainment in the lobby bar. They often have a, a small band playing. So in the main lobby of the Hacienda is a Starbucks. Now you've got to pay for coffee in here or specialty drinks, but everything you see in this glass case is included. 93 pesos for a latte, but it is uh, obviously real Starbucks, so it's good. So this evening we are going to eat at the French restaurant, which is just around the corner from the lobby. There's the main pool for the Hilton, and there's the Seafire Buffet, and here is the French restaurant. Some nice music to dine by. Scan the menu. Mm. 
the bread roll they give you, the warm bread roll, is stuffed with uh, cream cheese. So here's the starters. I have escargot. Yes, snails. I do like snails. But Rhonda has a Nicoa salad. Now we got the soup course. We got a French onion soup. And we are sharing also a portobello on mushroom because we wanted to try it. And Rhonda has a cream garlic soup. So we ordered Chateaubriand beef for two. Well done. Gracias. Yeah, well done. Yes. So there's a Chateaubriand beef carved at the table. This apparently is, there's mashed potato there. That's mashed potato. And for dessert, we are going to try a creme brulee. And a rum infused sponge cake. I tell you, four years ago when we were here, these specialty restaurants were okay. And we're finding the food has really gone downhill. So we would give this restaurant six at the best out of ten, which is a shame. Each evening they have a few vendors set up a little stall just outside the French restaurant. Just another sunset from the rooftop bar on the Hacienda side of the house. These folks watched the original uh, review video on the, Hel the Hilton Hacienda and watched that and kind of liked the idea of coming here. They liked the look of the hotel and here they are. They've arrived from Peachland, cold snowy Peachland right now. <laughs> You're not staying in the Hacienda, you're staying in the Hilton. We've never stayed in the Hilton, so how's, how's the Hilton? Is it good? Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with the staff at the Hilton. Uh, they've been very generous with us and very uh, polite. The, the, the service has been phenomenal. Um, the, the rooms are a little bit dilapidated. The food is you know, massive menace. Um, which is, cold, which is, which a is, lot of times cold, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, yes, yeah. It's a, that's the problem. And I think you'll agree with one thing we noticed on our first day was the, the staff make this place. They make the Hilton, they make the Hacienda. Every member of staff from the cleaners, the bartenders, the waiters, they're just phenomenal. They'll do anything to make you happy. And I think you guys have found the same thing, right? Absolutely, 100%. The staff, yeah. it's, the staff is... You can't beat the staff. Outstanding. And it is an older hotel, you know, it is a refurbished hotel after all, so there are going to be some issues, but as long as the hotel makes them right, there's going to be issues with any hotel. I think you guys would recommend coming again, right? Well, I would recommend I would recommend coming uh, with some major changes. Yeah. 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 The main thing they need to do with the Hacienda is give it an ocean view. Yes. yes. Which it's they good. can't. Yeah. The Hilton has, uh, most of the rooms are ocean view. The Hacienda is behind the Hilton, so you don't see the ocean. But the gardens here are beautiful. Yes. They certainly are. The rest, the rest of the Mexican restaurant yeah, that was yeah, good, eh? Yeah. What do you think of French restaurant? Was it disappointing? Yeah. 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 Quality of food, service, the whole thing. Never the service. The friendly is it's dull. Yeah, they weren't as friendly as the rest of the restaurants, but you know what? We're happy no matter what. Yeah. Look at our color. Look yeah. how beautifully tanned we are. Yeah. Yeah. We're having a sunbed day today, which is yeah, one day out of ten. Yeah. But the rest of the time, we're out and about exploring. Yeah. 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 You know, like I said, we're going on the ATV tour because of these two things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see you on YouTube. I'll send you the link by email so that you can watch yourselves. And see you later. Ciao. So we're in the far corner alongside the Hacienda adult pool is the Mexican restaurant which is on the second floor the rooftop bar is up top 
and then down below is the breakfast buffet. There's two buffets. One is at the Sea Fire at the Hilton, and the other one is here below the Mexican at the Hacienda. And everybody we've spoken to, and we agree, this is by far the best breakfast buffet to come to. And it's the best meal of the day, most people say. Yeah, so this is the Hacienda breakfast buffet. It's fresh early morning, so I'll show you. Drink station. This is a good drink, the green one. We've got orange juice and then... Tastes really good. Breakfast cereals. Fruit selection. This runs from like 7 till 11.30. There's all your cold meats. And cheeses. Bagels. The toast section. And over here, we got hotcakes and waffles. And then it changes every day. Here's a beef, hot dish, beef and it's all juice. Sausage and bacon. Bacon's always really crispy and the sausages well, they change every day. There's some chicken. Scrambled eggs. Potatoes change every day from hash browns to wedge potatoes to whatever. There's refried beans. And uh, nachos with nacho fillings. You sit wherever you want when you come in. Nice tables. And of course, pastries and desserts. If you're still hungry after all that hot food or cold food. And you order mimosas here, coffee at your table. And it will all be served by the waiting staff. So that's it, that's the buffet at the Hacienda side. So it's good to know how to book restaurants. So you have to go to the concierge, which is located just off of the main lobby. There's the lobby bar. What you do, you head through this way. It's called the Hilton's Lounge. You just come in here. There's some ATMs if you need cash. You go through this door here, I won't go in, but the concierge is uh, over there and you can book all your restaurants in advance. We were able to book five days in advance. So there are a couple of small uh, shops or boutiques in the hotel. You can buy sunglasses, beachwear. suntan lotion a little trinkets but be warned very expensive unfortunately we've had quite a few things go wrong with our room including air conditioning not working so I made a list of uh, things that we need to talk to the hotel about and if you have issues with your room you go to the concierge which are located behind these green columns these desks over here and these people will uh, sort out any issues you've got. They're very good at sorting out problems. You will find, we're just at the Hacienda pool, all the sunbeds have got notices on there. Do not leave towel, do not reserve sunbed. Not allowed, not allowed. But by nine o'clock in the morning, every one of these sunbeds has a towel on it. Be ready to fight for your sunbed because you've got to come out early to ensure you get one. This is the view from inside the swim out room pool to the room. It's a fairly good size. It's not too cold, it's not too warm, just about perfect temperature. And how's that for poolside service? Even in our little private pool, the pool server just came, popped her head through here and said, would you like some drinks? And we said, yeah. 
Uh, we ordered Wandering Keeps, but she brought us a good selection. Uh, delivered right through the little bush here. So here's the entrance to the Hilton. Big purple wall, Hilton sign. There's the entrance to the Hilton. And just to this side of it is the Hacienda. That's the Hacienda. This is the main road running up to the Hilton and the Hacienda. You see these great big gold figures in the middle of the road, all the way up on the Hacienda side. It's a beautiful pool. The water temperature is absolutely perfect. And it's always crystal clear. The Talavera restaurant at the side of the adults only pool opens at it's noon it opens for lunch so you can get uh, a nice lunch in there pizza nachos that kind of food and then in the evening that one turns into the mediterranean restaurant the speciality restaurant and there is a regular visitor to the pool Sometimes climbs a tree, sometimes goes in the pool. So we are heading across the bridge from the Hacienda to the Hilton. We are going to try out the Old West Sushi Bar, which is on the rooftop on top of the Hilton. So to get to the Old West Sushi Bar from the Hilton main reception, there's the reception. We walk out to the main pool area and we're gonna head off to this building it's on there you can see up there that's where it is up there so we're gonna head through the doorway over here so to get to the old west you use this entrance on the side of the the main pool uh, reception area there just come up inside here of this north tower of the hilton and we're going to take this elevator straight up to the Old West Sushi Bar. It's floor number five, really. The buttons are a bit confusing, but there's buttons for floor one, two, three, four. Press the one above four, whatever it says, because that's where it is. And there's the infinity pool. And we're going to get some sushi. I've heard the spicy tuna and the smoked marlin is very good, so I'm going to order those. Only a couple of people swimming in the infinity pool. That's well, really nice. I'm just sat waiting for my sushi and a drink to be delivered. That is by far the warmest pool in the whole of the resort. That is very nice. So the sushi has just been delivered. We have a spicy tuna and a smoked mahi mahi. It looks really good. Definitely not the best sushi I've ever had, but definitely for a Mexican all-inclusive resort, acceptable. So a bit more of a bird's eye view tour of the Hilton. There's the beachfront. Directly behind the beachfront is the Hilton main pool. Or pools. And over here, at the front of this building is the Italian restaurant, which is beachfront. You saw that earlier in the video. And then you got the Seafire Buffet. Now these cabanas here along this wall, there's three of them. These are available for rent for the whole day. They're 30 US dollars for the day. This is a view of the adults only pool at 8 a.m. Nobody's here at 8 a.m. But some beds between 8 and 8.30 are taken by people putting towels out. Okay, it's 10.30 at night, the air conditioning kicked off yet again, the room's really warming up, 
We've been waiting, waiting for the maintenance people for about 45 minutes. I know this is kind of weird, but you've got to listen to this whistling toilet. Just want to see if I can get it to whistle. So this is the end of our 10 day stay at the Hilton Puerto Vallarta Resort. And just to end this video, I'm going to answer three main questions. What was good? What was bad? And would we stay again? So the first thing we'll start off with, the good. What was the best thing about this resort? And it's the same answer as last time. It was the staff. Every member of staff, whether it be servers, pool staff, reception, bar staff, the staff that clean your rooms, every single member of staff that we've dealt with has been exceptional they've gone above and beyond to make our holiday as pleasant as they can they're always smiling always friendly and the hilton should be proud of the staff that work here that's the first good thing second good thing the adult only pool at the hacienda is beautiful it's a beautifully shaped pool it's uh, got beautiful landscaping. It's a great temperature all the time. Immaculately clean. Things that are good is the rooftop bar at the Hacienda side. So you've got the Mexican restaurant. You have the breakfast buffet building on the Hacienda side. And on the third floor on the roof is a rooftop bar. It doesn't open till 6 p.m. at night and stays open till midnight. But it's a beautiful spot to hang out, to watch the sunset. The, the Italian speciality restaurant, although we didn't have such a great experience with the food, the location is just amazing. It's right on the beach and you can sit there having a romantic meal for two, watching the sun go down over the ocean. The location of the Italian speciality restaurant is just top notch. Another thing that boosted our holiday, the good points, is this swim out pool here. It's kept immaculately clean. Every morning, staff come along, they walk along the back and they test the water, they clean it out, they add you know, chlorine if it's needed. And when you're in there, you can. one day we spend a whole day in this pool. Okay, we have to talk about the bad points. Now the first one that really spoiled this holiday for us is our room. Three nights during this 10 day stay where we had no air conditioning working. We had maintenance staff in our room one night until midnight trying to fix it. Could not fix it. And we had three really uncomfortable nights with no AC. A lot of people have had issues with the rooms, you know? People have had uh, toilets that don't work, blocked sinks, uh, air conditioning that doesn't work. You name it, there's been a lot of problems from people that we've talked to. The good thing, again, staff, they seem to have dealt with most of the problems and fixed them pretty quickly. Uh, I think it's just Glenn and Rhonda's AC that seemed to be the issue and they just could not fix it. So I would say 80% of people we've talked to at the resort, the food, the quality of the food since four years ago has plummeted. It is very, very poor now in most all the restaurants. The buffet content is really monotonous. The lunchtime and dinner buffet or the sea fire, it seems to be the same dishes seven nights a week and it just doesn't change. And uh, we stopped eating at that buffet after night two. Uh, we tried speciality restaurants. We didn't have good uh, luck with the speciality restaurants. So most of our meals we've actually been eating outside the hotel and paying for the food and getting some good quality meals which we've thoroughly enjoyed the hilton pool during our 10 days and i think generally uh, really really super busy good luck trying to find a sunbed to sit at the side of that pool you know but the hilton pool super busy 
and super cloudy like the water not good you know murky you couldn't see through the water it's kind of you know brackish it did not look good and you could really really smell strong chlorine so the adults only pull like i say on quiet days it's great um but a few days here we had large groups i'm talking 15 20 young adults come and they just swarmed the swim up bar for five six hours got totally inebriated and were so loud they were playing boom boxes diving in the pool splashing around um just making a nuisance of themselves and that kind of spoiled it a bit i guess every you know everybody's on vacation everybody needs to enjoy themselves but when you see you know a group of 25 year old guys throwing each other in the water and splashing a 75 year old uh, lady and scaring her you know that's that's not cool so every drink that you order they don't have any premium liquor for making cocktails everything is the cheapest quality and the standards of the drinks are just bad there's no quality drinks here anymore so that's very disappointing so to the last question would we stay again at the hilton or at the hacienda for a vacation we were here four years ago we've now spent 10 days here in 2022 we've experienced how things have changed would we stay again the answer is a resounding no we would not stay at the hilton or the hacienda again for vacation uh, there are much better resorts around for the same price uh, that you can go to which i know if we stayed there they'd be getting much better reviews i hope it helps you make a decision whether or not you want to come and holiday at the hilton but if you do hope you enjoy your holiday if not i hope this video has helped you make a decision either way don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs down if you didn't like it we try to give you an honest uh, opinion it's just our experience on this vacation subscribe and we'll see you in the next video